Hey y'all, I'm back real quick. Decided to go on and knock this video out as well. Cause if I get an ounce of comfort, it's over. I'm not gonna do nothing. So this is, um, I wasn't tagged, but I, I thought it was a cute little tag. So um, I decided to do it. Um, it's the 10 random facts um, about me, in case you wanted to know. Um, let's see. Before this turns into a, um, that's the ish I don't like, like Miss Lily 37 said, um, I'll start off with the things that I do like. So, number one, I love, I'm all blue everything. Yeah, I love all shades of blue. My favorite color out of the shades would be sky blue, like the North Carolina blue, but any shade of blue. I love the blue greens, you know, the teals, I love royal blue I'm all blue i love blue um number two i love family which is ironic and i say that because when i was growing up or when we were growing up I, I come from a family of eight let me preface it by that and so you know there were a lot of rugrats running around i'm the second of eight and when we were younger me and my older sister used to always be like man why she keep bringing home babies? I wish it was just us, you know? And, um, but now I truly, honestly appreciate it because um, my brother, or uh, now that I'm older, my young, and my youngest brother, I can see that we're bonding. And it's, um, it's crazy. I mean, not that we weren't before, it's just, you know how kids and teenagers can be just bickering at each other's throat for no reason. But, um, they are a great help and they have been, and I told y'all this before, um, through my endeavors with school and everything, like without God and him providing me with the love and support of my family, I don't know where I would be. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I love to cook and I love for people to enjoy, you know, to see the satisfaction um, that people get after eating my food. Um, I wish I had more time for that, honestly. I miss that. That's, um, that along with, that was three, right? <laughs> that along with four and five are weaknesses of mine. So going on to four, I love to shop. Shopping is therapeutic as well as cooking. It really is. Um, and my next goal <laughs> in life is to tackle um, restraint. But I feel like when I shop, I guess because I've been taught and because of our financial situation growing up that I'm still, like, I look for bargains, you know? Um, I go straight for the clearance rack. Like, no matter what, it's so crazy. It's like we're magnets or something, it's no lie. Um, no matter what store I go in. And it's so funny, I feel like I'm allergic to the high-end stores. <laughs> That's silly, I know. But I just have never, like, I feel like what I can get cheap or cheaper from like Ross or um, Pennies or um, what else? Um, Burlington sometimes or, um, you know, Whatever your other, other little stores you can think of, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I don't really shop there often, but you know, stores like that. Um, and I know everybody has their own little, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, I don't, not ghetto fire stores, but you know, like urban stores, I guess, that are cheaper, like your, um, what is it called? Like your um, Debs or your. I forgot one, it was one story we went, or that they had in the mall um, in Atlanta, and I cannot even remember what they called it. But anyway, stores like that, um, I like those stores, I really do. I just can't bring myself to spend, you know, uh, I was commenting on one of Dad's videos, sorry, this is divergent, but whatever. I wanted to speak on it, cause um, I found myself commenting on um, Deb's, uh, saying that she didn't have a shoe fetish. And, you know, to a certain extent, I don't either. I mean, I love shoes, don't get me wrong, but it's not like I just have to have all pairs of shoes that's out there or, 
than three, four, five, six hundred dollar pairs of shoes. No, like that sickens me. It really does. It, cause I just get nauseous thinking about how much stuff I could have got with that six hundred for that one pair. You know, I don't know. So that's that's how I ration um, my spending. Cause like the other day, I easily spent between my son and I, I easily spent two hundred fifty plus dollars on clothes and shoes because I think I got him a pair of shoes um, but it was worth it because I came out with at least um, five or six outfits a piece for us so if you think about that that's what 10 10 to 12 pieces of clothes plus a pair of shoes like I don't know I feel like that's that's doing good but anyway sorry I diverged um, so anyway, five, another weakness is um, crocheting and like artsy stuff. I never knew, like I, by no means can I draw. I'm not claiming to be the artist, but stuff like crocheting, I taught myself how to knit um, and scrapbooking, you know, stuff like that. That's also therapeutic as fun. Um, I love to do it. Something that's not so stressful that you don't have to think about, you know. Um, Okay, and then six, I'm OCD, y'all. I think everybody has a form or a touch of it in some way or another, and it may be about one particular, you know, thing, but I am, y'all should see my closet. Actually, you shouldn't, because I'm not even finished with it, and it's still driving me crazy, but I have to have things in order, in their proper space, and I will know, and it drives me crazy, if something is out of place. And so, like, I say, when y'all say y'all should see my closet, it's like my closet is organized by, I have two sides, and they're organized by, everything's color-coded. And then you, I have my winter stuff on one side, you know, like sweaters and long sleeve shirts, all that good jazz, jackets, coats on one side, and then I have the summer stuff or like my tank tops, you know, undershirts, cause I like to layer. Um, and um, my jeans and pants and stuff um, on another side. Yeah, it's kinda, kinda sad. My brother-in-law was making fun of me when they came to visit. <laughs> cause he said he, he moved something, put something out of place on purpose just to see, <laughs> just to see my reaction or to see what I would do. And of course, as expected, I moved it. And I said something, <laughs> but it's it's funny. Like my brothers and sisters, they they love to come, but then they hate because they know they're gonna hear my mouth about something. Um, I'm just I don't know. I'm a stickler about that. Um, and I guess that would go to um, maybe seven. Is that what I'm wrong? Um, um, I, I already mentioned it, but I like order. I like neat, clean. So I'm of the philosophy that um, if you get it out, you should put it up. If you make a mess, you should clean it up. Like, you know, you big enough to make the mess, you big enough to clean it up. So um, I get on my brother and they grown, they pretty much grown, my brothers and sisters, but I still tell them, mm -mm, no ma'am, no sir, you know how I am, don't even try it. So anyway, um, let's see what else. Eight, I don't like liars. Mm -mm. That's one thing I cannot stand. Cause it's like, why waste your breath even lying? Like, just be honest. I always say, tell the truth, shame the devil. Cause it's just it's just a waste of time, waste of time and energy. Um. Let me take you on a trip and number ten. Actually, I got road rage and I need to work on it. Yeah, I've already told y'all that. And that ish I don't like, I do. I got very bad road rage. Gotta work on that. It's a work in progress. Y'all pray for me. Peace. Let me show you, girl.